Hey guys and welcome back to another video and today with the Mikul KM1 which is an Android TV box with Android TV OS and I'm going to share with you all the tests that I've made it passed on all of them with the exception of one thing that if it's important to you then you might want to check out but if it's not then it's at a great price I will leave a link down below at this moment of the recording the version that I'm using is 4 gigabytes of RAM and 32 gigabytes of storage but the 64 gigabytes of storage is more or less at the same price so you might want to check that if you are going for this by the way it has the AM Logic S905 X3 so we have a really nice machine right over here for a setup now one really nice thing as well that I would like to mention right now is a shout out to the sponsor of this video which is Wondershare Dr. Phone and it's available for iOS and Android we can do phone backups restore to and from our Windows or Mac computers data recovery phone transfers system repairs such as black screen boot loops and so on especially on Android phone and a lot more. I will leave a link down below for the free trial version so that you guys can check it out and see for yourself if it's the software that you want to use or not. Now that being said, looking at the Mikul KM1, in terms of the box itself, it's an interesting box in terms of build quality. I would say that it's uh, fair for the price that it costs. Nothing special, but nothing really shabby. We will not see that really cheap plastic. No, it's a nice plastic for the price that it costs. In terms of connectivity, I'll show you a few images right over there, but the usual in terms of this boxes it comes with a bluetooth remote which actually works great and i'll show you a few images right over there it has also the voice feature we can just press the button and then ask something on our google assistant and it will do for us so if you are on that kind of usage this will work just fine in terms of tests starting with youtube at 4k i had no issues at all actually everything was tested in 4k so that i'm always sure if i will have any kind of drop frames or anything like that but so everything in 4k starting with youtube as i was saying no drop frames at all a great experience as you might have the chance to see hbo worked great at least here in portugal the service works great on this little box right over here and no issues and the only issue that i had was with netflix which is not as you were expecting already it's not uh, usable on this particular we will have an error so netflix was the only thing and if you want to stop the video right over here everything else worked just awesome with the exception of Netflix. If you don't need Netflix and you will use your own library using Kodi for example then great results. Everything that I do test as you guys know are over the network and testing out videos 8-bit and 10-bit H.265 and H.264 no issues at all up to 4k everything with high bit rates and I had no issues whatsoever. If your library is 1080 MKV Blu-ray files like I've got on my own library then you'll have no issues at all because it will play just fine even having a high bitrate so i have no issues of course this will depend on our own network but the box is totally capable as you might see by some images right over there on the other hand if you use plex or mb then the results will be very similar as we will have no issues i did test out my service or one of the services that i've got in terms of iptv the novo service and the answer right over here was awesome as well really great and smooth experience with a great image quality so really really nice now to summarize and to finish up gaming in two aspects the android platform those kinds of games like asphalt extreme asphalt 8 and so on and so forth i was not expecting after all these tests to have a low performance and i did not get a low performance but one more demanding test is my game streaming test and that one right over there did went just fine really really nice experience smooth experience i was able to play up to 1080 at 60 frames per second i did test out with two games one of which was witcher 3 and then the other one was gas guzzlers which is a racing game a really funny game where we shoot missiles one to another and we can play online and so on and so forth really worth it game so a lot of fun for those of you that are hearing game streaming for the first time this is basically the way that we can take this anywhere on our own network and then play a game that we have installed on any of our computer in this particular case that one that i've got right over there so i can take this just to 
my living room, connect to my network and I can play a game using, for example, a gamepad such as this one. And if you haven't heard about game stream yet, search the channel for that because I've done a lot of videos on all the operating systems that we could imagine playing that and then how to use with something like this, like an Android TV box. And guys, basically this is it. Hope that the video was helpful in some way uh, so that you guys are on the fence to get one of these or not. Once again, have in mind that 4 gigabytes of RAM and 32 and the 64 gigabytes of flash storage is more or less the same price at this moment. So check the link down below and that is it. If it was helpful, don't forget that usual and very appreciated thumbs up right over there. My name is Roberto George and as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.